Okay, so we have already set up Zotoro. We've able to insert the references in Zotoro. This video, we are going to see how we can use Zotoro in um, Microsoft Word. So this is probably the most important video so far. In fact, it will, it will be the most important video. So in order to use Zotoro, you open up your Word document. You must have this Zotoro tab. If not, please go to the first video on setup um, and you have probably have to reinstall the, um, what do you call that? The Microsoft edits. Okay. okay. So when you want to use Zotoro in Microsoft Word, you have to have both Zotoro and Microsoft Word open. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Okay. And what you only need is this Zotoro tab. So let's say I have a paragraph that I want to insert references in. So how do I do that? Okay, so um, talking about, let's say I want to insert a reference here. Okay, I use my cursor to the position that I want to insert a reference, make a space, and all I need is to insert a citation. So let's say, um, let me find, uh, let's say, go and search for the paper that I want to put it in. So functional update. Functional. Okay. So let's say I want to insert. Um, let's say this uh, this reference. Okay. It will it will be a wrong thing, but then let's say I want to insert this reference. So I can copy the title. That's why I need so. In fact, I need so to open copy the title. And I go to this place. I use add or edit citations so i click on it the first thing it will pop up is there is this citation styles so i have more citation styles than you later we'll talk about citation styles but it doesn't matter let's say i want to add the citation style call that looks like um bmc immunology okay, this citation style i click okay whatever citation style actually doesn't matter so i Put the title in. Okay, you will actually search. And if it's, it's found, you will actually say that it's in my library. So I'll do a quick look through. Is it the correct one? If it's correct, I put it in. Okay. Then now you have the citation there. Okay, enter. Okay. So it becomes one. So this one doesn't mean anything. I let me do a few more. Um I want to say that complex pathway optimization. So for example, I can add the reference and now I want to search. So talking about pathway optimization. Okay. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't have something that says pathway optimization. Um optimization, for example. Okay, for some hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Ah, maybe. Okay, robust strain. Okay, I can put it in. So let's say I have one. How about I want to add another one? Okay, I will retype it again. Okay, let's say I do um, from genetic okay, fermentation optimization. I put it now there are two references. Okay, so I hit enter. So I can do multiples of them. Okay, so let's say what happens is if I want to say, okay, add one more reference into here, into instead of one, into this position here, I will just go to the reference itself. It will highlight in gray color. And I use the same button, add or edit citations. Okay. So I click on it. The original reference will be there. Okay. Then I can type in, go and find another one. So I'm just going to randomly look, get one more. And what I do is I will put the title in or search for it. It may take a while. Okay, so I uh, this paper. So I click on it, you will you'll be something pretty ugly. Okay, the title is there, it doesn't make any sense, but that's fine. Hit enter. <clears throat> you realize that just now I have is one, two, three. So reference one, reference two, reference three. But if I do if I add another reference in, 
the numbering will automatically change for me. Okay, so now it comes one, two, um, two, three. Okay, because I have the same uh, reference in, is it? Hmm. Anyway, yeah. So you make sure you are looking at the correct place. Oh, okay, 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 this. I actually use the same reference instead. So what did I do? So let me put another reference in. This is the reference at one. Zing. So it's the wrong reference. Okay, I want actually this reference. Oops, so let's say if I make a mistake, I can go back and delete this reference, change the number, and this is the correct one. Okay. So once I'm done with it, I'm happy. What I will do is I go to the part that I want to generate the citations. Okay. And I just click on edit or add bibliography. So I click on it, it will generate the reference for me according to the style that I want just now, which is BMC Immunology. Okay. So if I want to change another style, let's say I want to change the style to cell. Okay. I can just go to change the style to cell and I click OK. It will regenerate the references for me. So cell uses a inline citation method. And so on. Okay, you can go to let's say I want to use Vancouver style. Same thing. Just play around with it and it will generate the Vancouver style for me. And so on and so forth. Okay. So let me questions, for example. Okay, you will generate the corresponding styles for me. So let's say what happens should I find a style that is not in here? Okay, I have only these styles. What happens if I don't have the style? For example, I want to... Let's go and look. So what do I do? I just click on Manage Styles. And then you will come to Zotoro. Okay. In fact, Manage Style is under Zotoro. So how do you get to this page? The easiest way is you go to Zotoro. Go to preferences, edit preferences, then you go to site. Click on this thing called get additional styles. So you will bring up a web page looking um, item. Okay. There is 10,302 styles. Just a few days ago, there's only 10,300. So styles have been added in more and more. So you can go and search the journal that you want. Okay, for example, I want ACM computing survey. So this is a style that I want. Okay. Or um, I can do ACM infectious disease. So this is a style that I want. So I, if there's a style I want, I just click on it and it will bring in ACS infectious disease. Okay. Then I click OK. Now in if I go back to Microsoft Word under document preference. I will have the styles already. I will just change the style. Okay. okay. And you will generate the style for me. That's it. Okay. So another common thing is, uh, let me just use a more common style that I use, let's say Vancouver. All right. So for whatever reasons, I find that there are errors in the references. Okay. Please do not change it here. Okay. So please watch. Let me, let me just use one to explain to you. For example, I'm going to um, take this. Let's say this is so off. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm going to put it in here. Okay, add so a lot of paper. Okay, now you realize that the reference section will change according to it. But what do you see here? Look at all the other references. The title of the journal is actually in um, title case. That means every word is capitalized, unless those not important words. But for Sozonov, the first one, physiology is not capitalized. Broth is not capitalized. In is not capitalized. That's correct. So I do not change it here. I go back to Zotoro, change the original information here. So I capital P, capital B for broth, and I enter it. After which, I just in Word document press refresh to update to refresh the changes. And now you see the the result or rather reference section has been changed. So this is how you use Sotoro for your references. It's pretty much that easy. Okay, so that's all for today. And this is the most important video. Please look through a few times if you are. There's a lot of information here. View through a few times if you are not clear.